Hey everyone, welcome back. If you want to know how to get the best sword in the first seat for absolutely free, then you have come to the right video. Yeah, you've heard me correctly, completely free. You don't even need any belly at all to get this sword. And that sword is Saber right here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So if you have any questions, make sure to check the video for the answers before commenting as I have included the answers to almost every question most people have. This is one of the best swords for grinding because it has high M1 click damage, and M1 is a click, little knockback on the click, and fast M1s. The first thing you will need to do is be at or over level 200. As you can see, I am level 357 right now. You'll be able to do everything under level 200 aside from the last step. So just try and get to level 200 before you try this. Now you have to go to the jungle. Once you are at the jungle, you're going to want to find five secret buttons. With those buttons, you're going to want to step on them to make them green and activate them. The first secret button is over here. As you can see, there's the front gate and here is the secret button. It will not be this green color, but when you step on it, it will turn green and that's how you know you've activated it. The next button is over in this direction. You keep heading to the opposite side of the island and on this tree, it will be brown. You jump into it to turn it green. After that, you come over here all the way up, keep going up the stairs, and just here there will be a secret button here, colored the same as this. Step on it, turn it green. Then over at the boss island here, there will be two more buttons. The first button is behind this tree right here. It may be a little hard to see as it blends in with the tree. And the second button is over at the back of the island, camouflaging with the rocks. So step on that, and then you've activated all the buttons. Once you've done that, go to the quest NPC in the middle of the jungle. Now, once you are at the quest NPC, you have to go into the house down here, and you'll see a little hole in the floor. You can step into that hole, and under here, there will be a blue chest, a poem, and a torch. Lands of sand, my home does stand. Now dark and grim, bring light within. So, what this means is that you'll need to grab the torch by walking into it, like that. I can't get it because I already have done it. And then head to the desert. If you can't get the torch, rejoin the server or go to another server. Or maybe you've already done this step before. The desert is directly behind Middletown. Once you are at the desert and you have the cup in your inventory or hotbar down here, go over to this house right here and walk through this door. As you can see, you can walk straight through. It says greetings, go down, and right here, there will be a little curtain blocking your way. So what you're going to want to do is hold out the torch, pretend Saber is my torch, and then walk into the curtain. That will burn the curtain down and you can walk through the door. In here, there'll be a cup and another poem. If power you seek, fill the cup from a leak. Left alone in the cold is a story to be told. What this means is you're going to want to grab the water cup. Step into it and grab the water cup. Again, I cannot grab it as I've already finished it. Once you have the water cup, go and head to the frozen village. Now that you have gotten to the frozen village and you have the little cup, you're going to want to go to the cave. Now the cave from the front of the island here is to the right. So what you're going to want to do is head over here 
and then there'll be an opening to the cave you just walk through there's a color specialist and the ability teacher uh, you don't really need to worry about them but you can buy some cool stuff from the ability teacher and then you'll see all these icicles from the roof and you'll notice hey that one over there is dripping so you're going to want to hold out your cup if my saber is my cup you're going to want to hold it out and walk underneath the drop right here and that will show that in your cup there will be water once there is water in your cup you're going to want to keep holding your cup and go all the way to the top of the frozen village you can do this by walking back out to the front and going up the ladder now you're going to want to go into the house next to the sword dealer of the east in this house is a sick man you talk to him you press help and he says oh thank you please meet up with my son i'm sure he will reward you his son is an npc called rich man so once you have helped the sick man go to the pirate village Now at the pirate village, you are going to want to head left up these stairs, under here, left again, all the way to the back where these houses are, and you'll find the rich man. Talk to the rich man, and he will say that a mob leader has stolen all of his money. The mob leader is at a secret island that is in the direction of the magma village. So you're going to want to head that way. As you can see, if I go to the back, of the pirate village, you can see the little island over there. Head over to the little island and look for the boss. As you can see, here's the little boss. I just killed him, got a little bit of money and XP, and there's some extra money from the blue chest. Once you have killed the mob boss, go back to the rich man and talk to him again. Now this time you talk to him, he'll say thank you for getting my money back. You can keep this ancient relic as a reward. You will get the ancient relic in your hotbar, the same as you got the cup and the torch. This is the ancient relic right here. Now, once you are up to this part, if you are not level 200 or higher, you can come back and get the ancient relic again in another server when you have the right level. This next part is the part you will need to be level 200 for. Take the relic and go back to the jungle. Now at the jungle, you are going to want to come to this big building here where the Blox Fruits Garcha is. And at this part right here, there will be a wall with a relic shaped hole in it. So you are going to want to hold out your relic and walk into the wall and that will open the door for you. With the door now open for you, there will be a boss inside it called the Saber Expert. Here is the boss. If he is not there, then he is already dead and needs 30 minutes to spawn. Or you can just go to another server using the server browser up in the right here and find a server where he is still alive in. So you can just test random servers until you find one he is alive in. Now don't worry, the door stays open forever once you have opened it. You need to kill the Saber Expert to get Saber the Sword. Now you need to do at least 50% of the Saber Expert's health before he dies in order to get Saber. Oh, and by the way, there's no point flash stepping into the building as you won't be able to hurt the boss, but it can still hurt you. So if you're under level 200 and you try to teleport in, just don't do that, there's no point. And now, kill the Saber Expert. Now once you kill him and you've done more than 50% of his health, you will get Saber. But that is only Saber version 1. If you want Saber version 2 with the upgraded moves, follow these simple steps. Step 1. Get 1 million bounty or honor. It doesn't matter if you're a marine or a pirate, as long as you have 1 million or more points, you can do this next part. Step 2. Find someone that is around the same level as you. They do not need any bounty whatsoever, as long as they are near the same level as you are. Step 3. Kill the person and get some bounty from them. 
If done correctly, at the top of your screen, it will say, something weird has occurred to your saber. If the level difference is too high, or if it says suspicious kill, then your saber will not be upgraded. Now with the upgraded saber, the move names will be the same, the sword will look exactly the same, and the name saber will also be the same, but the only thing that changes are the moves and the damage. Saber V2 is very good Saber V2 is very good as it has some of the highest damage from swords in the game, at least until you get to the end of the second C or in the third C. These are the V1 and V2 moves. Deadly Rush, the Z ability with 50 mastery. Triple Slash, the X move at 125 mastery. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.